Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic boutique bow that is four inches. It's a four inch bow using the inch and a half wide ribbon and we're going to be using 27 inches of this ribbon to make it a four inch bow. So of course you're going to need uh, the ribbon, the 1.5 inch ribbon, which is 27 inches, which is two feet and three inches. You'll only need a ruler to measure. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a lighter. You'll need some sort of clip to attach the bow to. And I, act, I have a tutorial on how to line alligator clips. These are alligator clips. And I even have a tutorial on how to make the little grippers that go on the inside. But you can attach it to any kind of, any kind of clip that you may have. You'll also need a needle with embroidery floss. A needle. And at the end you're going to tie a little knot. And you'll need a glue gun. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do, oh, and I think I forgot to mention, you're going to need two inches of the three eighths of an inch wide ribbon for the center for this part here. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing you're going to do, of course, to measure your ribbon, 27 inches, which I already pre-cut. Now we're going to take it and we're going to fold it in half like this. And you're going to take the top ribbon and you're just going to flip it over like that so that we can make our diagonal cut. And we want the diagonal cuts cut the opposite way. That's why you flip the top one. So you just go ahead and you cut the ribbon diagonally like that. Then you're going to get your lighter and you're going to heat seal the ends. You're going to quickly run the flame along the end of the ribbon. creating a seal. That way it doesn't fray. It doesn't unravel. Now you're going to get one of your ends and you're going to hold it like this with the point pointing outward away from the hand that's holding it. And you're going to make your first loop like this. Then you're going to take the bottom piece and you're going to come up and make your second loop, like that. You're going to take this piece and you're going to tuck it under this one but on top of this one, just like that. And you can check your loops to make sure that they're the way you want them. Then you're going to get the bottom piece and you're going to come over the top like this. And after you're done making your loops, you're going to turn it over, and we're going to fold it. So we're just going to fold this part up like this. Sorry, that was my phone. And you're just going to be folding it till it looks like this. Now you're going to get your needle with your embroidery floss, and I actually have a video on how. I do my embroidery floss and what it is and everything, so I'll put a link right here. And at the end, of it, you're going to tie a knot, so that way when you push it through, it doesn't go all the way through, because we're going to be tying it off. So you're just going to get your needle, and you're going to stick it through, like this, and you're going to push it all the way through, and you're going to wrap it around. Wrap it around tight and then you're going to tie it off. Then, after you're done tying it off, you're gonna, of course you're going to cut off the extra string, and you're going to turn it over to the back, and you're going to be pushing, I don't know if you can see this, the ends that are right here, like these ends, but that are here in the middle, you're going to be pushing those, you're going to pulling them outward. So that way this part looks flat. Instead of looking all squished like this, you want it to look like that. <clears throat> now we're going to be getting our two inches of the three eighths of an inch wide ribbon. And we're going to be heat sealing the ends. like that. Now you're going to turn the bow over to the back, 
we're going to be getting our glue gun. We're going to be adding a dot of glue to the back, like that. And place one end of the ribbon, just like this. And of course you hold it there until the glue sets. Now we're going to be wrapping it around the bow, just like that. So it's wrapped around the bow like this. Then we're going to get our glue gun again, and we're going to add another dot of glue to this end of the ribbon. And you're going to push it down. And of course you hold it down for a couple seconds so that the glue sets. Okay, and then you turn it back over, and of course you can mess with your loops. You can tug on them, you can flip them, you can do whatever you want to make them look how you want. Now you're going to get your clip, and we're going to be attaching the clip to the back of the bow. So you're going to get your glue gun again. You're going to add a line of glue to the top of the clip. You're going to flip your bow over. And you're just going to place it on the back just like that. And of course you're going to hold it down until the glue sets. And there you go. You have made a 4 inch bow using 1.5 inch ribbon. It's a basic boutique bow. If you have any questions or comments or anything, just you know leave them below and I'll get back to you. So I hope you have fun. Thanks for watching.